making a how I did it video for Leo. Hi, good morning YouTube. Here with you on uh, Wednesday morning, 11.24 in the morning. Um, here we're going to do a real quick thing for video pad. And uh, I'm, I've got some things I want to show you. Uh, Leo wanted to see the uh, picture in picture type of uh, uh, video editing, how you do it, things like that. Now, I'm going to tell you right off, I'm not a teacher. I don't profess to be a teacher. This is not a tutorial. This is a how I did it video, okay? And there may be better ways to do it. Probably are. But this is the way I do it. And I found it to be fairly easy to do it this way. Now I've got another camera going here, as you can see. And that's Bob on the text. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to reposition this camera over here. And we're going to take a look. Now I'm going to try to keep this one going as well. And I'm going to put the picture in picture to show you what I'm talking about. Um, what, what, how a video, video editor works is uh, with layers. Um, video layers that's how it does the effects that it does let me show you what I'm talking about down here if I can get this over here like I want it now let's pretend this paper here is a video okay now if uh, for for reference this is going to be video track number four I believe and if we look underneath of it there's video track number three and if we look underneath that, there's video track number two, and there is video track number one. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get to you. This is layers. This is how video uh, editor works. Um, the bottom layer is video track number one. Video track number two overlays that. Video track number three overlays that. Video track number four overlays that, and so on and so forth. Now, if I make part of this transparent, which is what you do with the video editor, say I make half of it, then you can see this half shows through, and you get to see both halves, in other words. Obviously, I had it folded the wrong way, but, you know, you get the idea of what I'm talking about. Um, and also, if you wanted to make it smaller, and say we wanted to scale it, the top layer to a, a different size I'm just using this thing here like this but this is the size say that paper was and we're using that and then we can position this anywhere we want on top of the the layer that's underneath of it and everything around here will be transparent and it will allow anything to show through from the bottom and so that's how that works this is how you do the picture in picture you uh, put a track above the uh, track that you want to overlay and that's the way that works so that's uh, that's how the video editor works so I was I just wanted to show you all that because uh, uh, I just felt like that was a good way of doing it uh, or at least a better way of doing it so um, anyway we're gonna go into uh, video pad now now I use video pad uh, version 6.30 and uh, that's the version I use and uh, your results may be different if you're using a different editor or a different version of VideoPad but uh, just saying so um, like I said we want to uh, go into VideoPad now and check it out and see how you do that uh, layer thing like I was talking about here and then uh, put the picture in picture Bob's getting impatient I can tell <laughs> so let me go into that and we'll see what we can do Hey, right, here we are in uh, video pad as you can see I have uh, a couple of uh, images upload or upload uploaded here to it um, this is the uh, uh, video track number one that we're going to use right here and this would be video track number two okay so that's uh, how it's going to work so we're going to take video track number one and put it in the uh, sequence place clip in sequence that's what it says 
and there we go and for this one we're going to do the same thing only we're going to drag it down and just place it right there okay now as you can see we're going to go down here to the timeline you don't see the one on the bottom um, remember what I said about the papers overlaying and you know if it's over the top of, of the one on the bottom here you can't see it so what we have to do is make this um, smaller to where we can see the bottom so what we want to do is make sure this is highlighted and there's the difference you see that's highlighted now on the bottom now the top is highlighted okay so once it's highlighted go up to video effects and choose for this one we're going to do scale okay that's pretty simple and we're going to make our video smaller if we look over here there there's two uh, uh, I can't see horizontal and vertical and if we take it go down you see how the image is getting smaller uh, we're gonna make it about uh, 30 that's pretty good right there let's just put it right there now that is where you, know, you see how the checkerboard is around this see all that yeah that is means this is all transparent so if I go down here and click on the timeline now again, I'm, I'm right in the middle of the uh, uh, track on the bottom. You see that? So let's say we want to put it up on the in the corner like I did in the video. Put it up in here. So what we do is go back to the uh, scale, and we're going to see this uh, whole thing here. We're going to hit this plus sign right there, and we're going to choose position right here and that's what we're going to do and that will allow us to move this up here and you can see that how that works you get as close or far away or whatever it is you want Oop. apparently I held down the thing a little bit too long All right. there we go now we go down here and you see it's down there where it's supposed to be now when you play this now these are just images but a video works exactly the same way see that just it stays right where you're at and the videos will play just like they do normally because you're you're down here in the current timeline and these would be like I said normally videos so that's how easy it is just that easy you can take and click off that if you want you have to go back to the timeline then but anyway that's just how easy that is now I I had cropped mine a little bit more I taken it in at the side a little bit on each side and so it's made a little smaller but you know that's that's for another time you can do that it's not hard to do you can take like this and and go uh, let's see where's our oh, over here hit our FX right there and go back up to here and choose crop and what what that does is lets you crop the uh, selection a little bit more like this and then we're and this side here we're not going to bring in quite as in fact we're going to leave it just like it is right there that's 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 good I think that's about how I had it before. So you can see that uh, brings the uh, thing a little bit closer on this side and will allow when I get to the other uh, spot where this thing is over here I'll be able to see all that. So that's that's how you do that. That's just, It's that easy. So you know uh, video editors make this stuff so easy it's, it's, it's not funny. But uh, like I said you, you've seen it now how it works and that's that's all there is to it really and uh, like I said the main thing to to remember is layers this is video track number one on the bottom video track number two overlays that video track number three would overlay that if there was one and video track four and so on and then whatever is below it will will shine through like I said this is transparent this checkerboard pattern means transparent and that's exactly what it is you can see so that's all there is to it you guys uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and we will see you.